Hi everyone, it's Nisha. I've got a new wig for you. Uh, this is Belle Tress Chloe from the new Lux collection in new color Bent Biscuit Blonde R. R stands for root, so it's a rooted color. The one I'm wearing right now is Caliente, also from Belle Tress in Butterbeer Blonde. And I'm wearing it so we can compare the colors. So this is the brand new Lux collection which is absolutely wonderful. So it features 100% handmade hand tight cap. Have a look at this. It is nice and stretchy. Um, it's a generous average I would say but it is very stretchy. But look at the lace front. Lace front goes from ear to ear. So it goes right up to your ear. Uh, you have a silicone ear tabs, they are bendable and I suppose if you wanted to, if you don't have any heather, you could probably glue it. And it has sort of bra strap type adjusters. It has a full monofilament so you can part it anywhere and it will still give you that natural scalp look. They have also used new special tying method, which means the way they've tied their individual hair makes it move even more naturally. So it's a beautiful piece. It doesn't look too thick. It looks quite low density. So it is also heat friendly fiber, which means you can style it with heat. So this is one of my favorites, the Caliente in Butterbeer Blonde. Butterbeer Blonde is very similar to Raquel Wel Welch Shaded Biscuit, but I think the new color, the Ben Biscuit Blonde, is almost identical to Shaded Biscuit from Raquel Welch. And the difference is, Butterbeer Blonde, the root is, I would say, slightly lighter. I don't know if it's lighter, but it has a bit of red in it, especially in my unit. I've had some Calientes in the same color that the root wasn't as red, but this one is slightly, don't want to call it gingery, but it's a bit warmer. Whereas on the new color, the Bent Biscuit, I feel like the root is a bit cooler. Not ashy, but it's cooler. So it looks a bit more like the root on Shaded Biscuit from Raquel Welch. So actually, while I have the Butterbeer Blonde on, you can see the color. It's very, very similar. It has this really beautiful pearly almost white blonde and then the low lights are sort of honey color so it's very similar i would i would say that between these colors the bigger difference is the root but that's just me comparing this particular unit now this is a raquel welch shaded biscuit this is the wavy day i know it's a bit um, more difficult to compare wavy with straight but as you can see so here is the Beltres new color as you can see they are almost identical so I like to show you those wigs straight out of the box because they've been in a box for a long time traveling to you and sometimes they are a bit flat squished uh, all the hair is in your face. Sometimes you are lucky and you get a wig that you put it on and it's ready to go. But don't be put off by that. You have to work at your wigs a bit, just like you would with your own hair. But once you've done it, that's it. Every time you put it on, it will look the same. So I will put this one on and we will see if it needs anything doing to it. Okay, so here is Chloe. As you can see, I wouldn't say this is good to go straight out of the box. It's very conical. The hair falls right in my face. It is parted on the left. Wigs always come parted on the left. 
so we will see what we can do with it. So Chloe is shoulder length layered style. I see that it has here, I think it's 16 inches and the shorter layers like the fringe are 7 inches. I quite like that. I'm not too keen on one length wigs at the front because I need something more face shaping. So at first just get in there and rough it up at the root obviously being 100% hand tight it has no permatis permatis are those short wiry hairs that are placed underneath to hide the wefts when you have wefted wig and also to keep that style um, in place and it's usually reserved for more curly styles or styles that are you know big hairstyles so this one has no permatis at all anywhere and the density I heard some people saying that it is very low density I wouldn't say it's very low density it is definitely lower than most wigs you know sometimes you get so much hair especially at the front that it almost doesn't look natural and because I have fine hair myself, it's very difficult for me to get used to wig with lots of hair. It just doesn't seem like me. But this one is lovely. The fibers feel really great. I love the color, obviously. But I need to do something here to that front. Now, I always look if I can part it on the right because that's how I wear my own hair but sometimes it's very difficult to change the um, part and you see the hair has been trained to go the other, say, the other way but I'm sure with a bit of heat I probably could do it but I just have to decide first if that's where I would like my parting to be. I sort of like it off centre. And I probably would like it more on this side. But let's work with the this side. To me the parting is too deep as well. I mean it's too far this way. But it can be quite difficult to train it but I can already see that I can make it my own and looks and look really good look at that so all I need to do is train this bit with a bit of heat and you'll be ready to go so apart from just playing with the front of the wig the rest is absolutely fine okay let's look at this lace front because this is absolutely amazing and the lace front goes all the way to my I know you can see my own hair here but if I take this hair back okay can you see so this looks so good so if you are wearing your hair up you can just let some tiny front bits and it just looks so natural. This is just gorgeous. The lace front is amazing. I really like this fringe because, you know, if I put my hair up or half, half up, half down, I have those shorter layers to frame my face um, and I really like that I prefer that than just having you know long stringy hair at the front so this is absolutely wonderful how easy it is to tuck it's very easy to tuck behind your ears and that usually tells you that it's quite a low density wig usually if you've got quite high density wig meaning how thick it is how much hair it has 
there is no way you can tuck it behind the ears. Well, you can, but you probably have to dislodge your ears and you usually have this big bulk, bulk of hair. So this is definitely much lower density than most. And you see it was quite flat, but when you rough it up, it gets a bit fluffier and you can add a bit more volume to it. Let me just show her to you from all the sides before I carry on playing with it. I quite like these flicks. Very pretty. Okay, so here is Chloe from the front. This is my left side. This is the back. Look at the movement of it. It just feels like real hair. And then this is my right side. So just to show you the difference with a wefted wig. So this is caliente. So this is the wefted wig, which means that the hair is almost sewn in in wefts, in rows. Almost, if you imagine, oops, if you imagine hair extension weft, it's almost like this and they are on sewn together. So obviously it's not going to have the same natural movement and that's why they have to put more hair on it so you can see those wefts. Um, the difference here as well, can you see, it just has a side monofilament. The lace front is only at the front, doesn't go ear to ear. Therefore, this wig is gonna be up there in price. Uh, this is the best you can get, hand tied, fully, 100% hand tied wig. Obviously, it's not done by a machine, it's done by hand by someone, therefore it takes much, the process is much longer and that is reflected in price. So what I might do, I will take my hair dryer, I put it on a quite a low heat, I will heat the hair here and then clip it and leave it to cool down. You might have to do that a few times. Uh, you could use, you know, I sometimes use this and I just heat the hair just like this and then clip it. So you have to try different methods. Don't get too close. I'm going to clip it for a while, let it cool down and we will see if that first attempt worked. Probably not. But yeah, it is not difficult to try to train your wig. I think this wig is beautiful. It is much more me because it almost looks like my own hair just longer and obviously I don't have as many layers but I do have shorter layers around my face and the density and the color is just beautiful I love it so apart from working on the top you might get a unit that you will have beautiful lift here straight away and you won't have to do anything but as you can see that's if you get one like me that's all you have to work on and if you wanted to change the parting you probably have to work a bit harder at it but um, from what it was when I first shown you conical flat with hair in my face you see how quickly you can change it yes so I already got a bit more lift I think I might need to heat it a bit here and clip it back like this look at this hairline though I mean it's amazing absolutely amazing so we we'll leave it there for a bit to cool down so this wig has been sent to me by Mima Wigs uh, the price 
it's no point telling you the price because you can find this wig obviously at other wig retailers and the prices will vary depends where you live it, which country Mima wigs ships worldwide so you can check it but I also have a discount code I can't remember how much the discount is it might be 20% uh, with my code so that's why I always leave you obviously the Mimo Mimo wigs um, links because you can take advantage of my discount I love it I actually like like it like this okay I'm going to let it properly cool down because even now I touch it is still warm I will go and make myself a cup of coffee and I will be back okay yeah that already looks better can you see but now this oh I think I should have had this on this side no it's okay on this side so can you see I have a bit more of a lift but I can keep doing the same thing for longer pin it like this both of them and leave it overnight so definitely very easily trainable when it comes to styling you can do loads obviously we can do low ponytail using a clip or hair bubble just pull some longer pieces down as well this um, fringe goes quite deep back can you see so it's not just the front portion it goes all the way back so this seven inch layer is it almost goes all the way around so you need to pull the longer ones from somewhere here half up half down is always a lovely hairstyle obviously you can always pin it one side like I did before I really love that option because it's easier when you're eating or doing stuff you can always pin your hair a bit and that looks quite nice too so I think you would love this wig the hair feels beautiful like I said is much lower density than most wigs the cap I don't feel I'm, I have it on my head it's so comfortable so stretchy the movement is beautiful behaves just like natural hair and the color is divine so if you like the style this wig is definitely for you okay my lovelies let me know what you think of this one i hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful thank you so much for watching and stay fabulous bye